carolers. I hate Christmas carolers. Screeching voice, no blue snippers. I warned you, Brad! Hey everybody, welcome back to h &S Collectibles. This is Cody, and Halloween's over, Thanksgiving's on its way. Uh, probably posting this video after Thanksgiving, but uh, uh, we're definitely getting into that Christmas season. So I picked this up recently, and I'm going to add these guys to my Christmas decorations. Um, another thing that I have a collection of is little porcelain Santas from different countries throughout the years. Uh, right in front of the TV on Christmas and these guys are going to be down there with him so uh, this is the fairly new not brand new but fairly new uh, NECA winter gremlins two-pack uh, it's the ones that were singing Christmas carols to the old lady uh, and then they also come with a little candy cane full of candy and uh, gingerbread man with the head bit off uh, like from the the kitchen scene so uh, just taking a quick look at the package uh, there they are on the back um, looks like maybe you can buy some more I don't know if maybe there's differing sets out there I uh, didn't look that close but uh, down here you can see they come with their winter hats scarves their caroling books and some treats uh, so I'm gonna cut away and get these guys out of the box and we will have a closer look at them Okay, and here. Okay, and here they are out of their box. Um, we'll get a closer look at them in a second. But one thing I wanted to uh, say about them right off the bat: as much as I like these Gremlin figures, as much as I uh, uh, get a kick out of them, they're next to impossible to have stand. Um, or actually, they are impossible to have stand. The only reason these two guys are standing right now. Is I've got their hand against the the floor um, to balance them if I lifted that arm it they both fall right over you can see on this one his feet aren't even flat on the ground together um, this one's not much better uh, the only way I get these things to stand is I'm either going to have to buy some plastic bases or I'm going to have to go and I'm probably going to end up cutting about a 10 inch board uh, drilling some holes with some eighth inch dowel rod pegs and just making my own stand for them uh, I have an earlier video where I kind of showed you how to do that if you've never done it before or you want to attempt it it's an easy uh, easy job uh, to do but uh, I'll probably do that stain it up and maybe even uh, uh, paint some white around it with some textured paint for snow uh, that could be cool it might be a project I might work on uh, for Christmas if I find the time which is you know always uh, always at a premium anymore it seems like but uh, we'll get their accessories out of the way first so here's the uh, uh, gingerbread cookie missing his head from the kitchen scene and then just a little uh, uh, candy filled candy cane you know like, like you get for Christmas uh, we'll look at this guy up close so uh, he's got the earmuffs and uh, the earmuffs are kind of cool. Take a look at them. You see these uh, uh, nubs sticking out. So they hang uh, uh, right behind his eyes and then kind of uh, fit into his ears so that they don't uh, fall off, which is nice. Uh, I think my favorite thing about this guy is the paint job on the eyes. It's pretty much the same on the other one. Uh, uh, nice detail into the mouth with the teeth showing. You could even kind of see his gums in there um, the, the bodies are virtually the same between the two of them and it's the heads that are a little bit different uh, this one's ears are a lot flatter and uh, uh, his mouth is not quite as open you can see I'm already having trouble getting him to stand there uh, this one you know the ears are uh, more uh, vertical uh, his hat comes off as well and is cut around the earmuffs to lock over his ears and stay in place real well, uh, which is nice. Uh, the scarf is uh, 
uh, kind of a very hard rubber firm rubber probably not ever going to be able to get that off of him without ever without having to pull the head off but I'm not going to do that I'm going to leave him dressed this way uh, but again I just love the paint on the eyes uh, the paint detail on the back of the head and the ears um, I think for the price point of about forty dollars for this set um, it, it's nice detail for a gremlin uh, so uh, one other thing that I collect uh, besides these uh, horror and sci-fi figures is uh, uh, porcelain Santa Clauses from around the world different times of uh, uh, history what Santa looked like in that country uh, there's a whole set of little statues that I have that I put out at Christmas and I'm going to put these uh, right in front of the TV and these guys are going to be down there front and center so uh, here's their little music books uh, this has got little music notes in them uh, both of them are the same pretty cute and uh, once I get that base built I'm gonna have them posed I think holding the books with the uh, gingerbread man and the candy cane in front of them so you know gremlins is a favorite a holiday favorite for me uh, movies that I will definitely watch around Christmas TV shows you know you gotta throw Charlie Brown Christmas in there that's the best Rudolph, Frosty, those kind of things, and then getting into the movies, it's probably like, you know, Christmas Vacation, Christmas Story, Die Hard, and Gremlins, you know, are, are movies that I will watch around uh, Christmas time, so. Uh, with that, I will uh, uh, quit rambling, and uh, I want you to like and subscribe, come back and see me, video every Tuesday and Friday, I think some of you are getting to know the routine, and, uh, uh, keep an eye out for uh, the videos where I'm dropping the uh, digital coupons. I'm going to throw some of them out here in a little while. So, uh, anyways, uh, I will talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.